Early morning raids at sites across Germany, targeting a seemingly fantastical terrorist plot. Details both bizarre and deeply disturbing. Officials say a cell of around 50 far-right conspiracy theorists plan to overthrow the German state, prepared, they believe, to violently storm the country's parliament. A dispossessed and stateless dynasty after a thousand years of rule. Accused of leading the plot, this minor German aristocrat, Prince Heinrich XIII, here addressing a tech forum. He's part of the fringe Reichsburger movement. Many followers are anti-Semitic, some linked to deadly violence, and they refuse to recognize the modern German state, harking back to a pre-war past. Investigators say Prince Heinrich was to be installed as Germany's new leader, even seeking support from Russia, though that never came. Prince Heinrich is now in custody. This former member of parliament from Germany's far-right AFD party and a serving judge was to have been the justice minister. She's now also been arrested. The suspected terrorist group uncovered today was founded based on coup d'etat fantasies and conspiracy ideologies. Only a further investigation will give us a clear picture how far advanced those coup plans were. The militant Reichsburger are united by the hatred for democracy, for our state and for people who support our community. <laughs> Two years ago, protesters attempted to storm the German parliament, furious at COVID lockdown rules. In the crowd, members of the 20,000-strong, long-established Reichsburger movement mingled with newly emerging German QAnon conspiracy theorists, a volatile mix of extremists. When you talk about conspiracy believers, that you think it's crazy, it's absurd, and don't take it serious, but these are the people who are storming the capital, who are planning um, to violently overcome the state. And I think we really need to start understanding that right-wing extremism shifted, that it's not these um, uh, yeah, bold-headed neo-Nazis from the 1990s anymore. Thousands of officers took part in today's coordinated raids. Amongst those arrested, a special forces soldier and a number of veterans. Their alleged involvement elevating this plot from farce to credible threat.